Today we'll be reading Bean Descriptions from Annie's Heirloom Seeds 2020 Catalog. City Shorts Blue Lake Bush Bean With nice yields of long, thin, straight green pods on petite bush plants, Blue Lake is one of the old favorites. Still grown as one of the main commercial varieties, It has that familiar bean flavor and good yields when grown in good soil, but does not perform well in adverse conditions. Dragon's Tongue Bean These gourmet wax beans are known for their beauty, with flat ivory pods decorated with purple stripes. They are also really flavorful and tender even when large. This has become one of the staff favorites. Golden Wax Bean While most wax beans lack flavor and have a soft texture, Golden Wax is the exception. One of my favorite beans, it has a beautiful pale yellow color and a tender and crisp texture. Firm and delicious, it rivals contender for flavor. A real gem for a wax bean. Kentucky Blue Pole Bean This was Grandma Annie's favorite pole bean. My mother remembers two vegetables from her mother's garden, tomatoes and Kentucky blue lake beans. Now called the Kentucky blue bean, it was developed from the Kentucky wonder and blue lake pole beans and takes on the best traits of each. With tender, delicious beans that are stringless when picked young, they rival any bush bean and surpass many with their excellent flavor. A great all-purpose bean for fresh eating, as well as canning. Maasai bean. This dwarf, gourmet, French filet bean is a wonderful choice for container gardens. It produces lots of straight, tender green pods at the top of petite plants. It is also one of the best flavored beans and stays tender for several days, making them a bit more carefree than other filet varieties. Painted Pony Bush Bean 60 days for snap, 80 days for dry A great dual-purpose bean You can pick it early as a nearly stringless snap bean that is pencil straight Or leave it to dry for beautiful dry beans Leah loves eating them raw, straight in the garden Saying they are sweet and delicious As a dry bean, they are great for soups and chili Retaining their shape when cooked Red Noodle Asparagus Bean Beautiful red beans that turn green when they are cooked. Red Noodle is a spectacular long bean. Large harvests of long, delicious beans make this a wonderful choice to grow for stir-fries and your favorite Asian dishes. Little Nuns Pole Bean Grown by Italian immigrant Angelo Pellegrini, These delightful gray and white beans are creamy and smooth with great flavor. They also hold their shape when cooked, making them a wonderful multi-purpose shelling bean. Calypso bean. Also known as orca or yin-yang, this strikingly colored black and white heirloom bean is also delicious. Sweet and nutty, it holds its shape when cooked, making it a great choice for beautiful soups and stews. It is not only one of the best-tasting shelling beans, it is dependable and has good yields. Vermont Cranberry Bush Bean This New England heirloom dates back to the 1700s. It is a dual-purpose bean, eaten fresh at 60 days or left to dry for a shelling bean. It performs well in the cooler climates in the north, and is very reliable and hearty with a great flavor. It is excellent in soups and baked beans. French Green Lentil With dark green splotches on light green seeds, these lentils are both beautiful and delicious. Known for its slight mineral flavor, these French heirloom lentils retain their shape when cooked and cook slightly faster than other varieties. This is my favorite lentil for salads. Bolotto Lingua di Fuoco Bean Dazzling, bright pink striped beans. This is one that will be a standout in your garden. You can eat them as a snap bean, 
fresh shelling bean, or dry bean. What a special Italian bean! City shorts, 